Hi, I'm Hannah Cruz at the Church Musician's Assistant. And today I'm working on a congregational questionnaire. Last year in the summer, we did the same thing. We asked our congregation certain questions about music and worship and got some really helpful information that helped us develop our worship service over the past six plus months. So it's time to do it again because people are getting the vaccine, which is incredibly exciting. This is a good, good thing. So that means that within the next couple months, there's going to be new opportunity for in-person worship. And we are again going to have to tailor our worship services and our music ministries to the, the changing dynamic. So this questionnaire, needs to ask the congregation how things have been going and how things should change in the upcoming months. So that's what we're going to work on today. I've got some notes that I made that are very um, disorganized, but we're going to turn these notes into, into something that makes sense on a Google form. I'm going to show you how I do that. All right, so here we are. We're looking at the congregational questionnaire we created last summer. I, we added a little introduction here, kind of explaining what we were doing and that we wanted the congregation's valuable input about the direction we were taking worship in. Okay, so here is our congregational questionnaire that we created last summer. And I wanted to show you this and some of the responses because I think it's kind of interesting and illuminating. So we asked, would you be more willing to attend worship in person or online? And still last summer, a little bit more than half wanted to worship in person. How important is it for you to find a way to sing together? Um, most uh, people said it was very important and uh, then the next greatest amount of people said it was somewhat important. Singing is a, uh, a big part of our congregation's identity, obviously. <laughs> we asked what they missed most about our music ministry. The, the most well, the, uh, the common answer was organ and hymns and choir, so music. Um, what have you enjoyed most about our music ministry during this time, which is primarily online? <clears throat> and a lot of people said they have enjoyed seeing the college students we brought in to sing and some of the choir members we brought in, just the variety of participants from across the board. And then we asked if people would appreciate digital and printable resources at home. Um, not really, uh, but they might, they might not have understood what we meant by that question. I, I was kind of thinking like, you know, more hymns to sing, maybe videos of uh, hymn accompaniments to sing along with. We asked, would you be willing to try sign language? And... Uh, again, people were lukewarm about that. Would you be willing to participate in percussive music making? Some 40% uh, said yes, interestingly, and then the rest were on the fence or a solid no. Would you be willing to try more liturgical movement, such as walking, hand gestures, dance, <clears throat> etc.? That was a big no from the majority. Not surprising, we are a Presbyterian community and tend not to do much liturgical movement. So that would be out of the comfort zone of our congregation. I asked if they would be willing to meet in small Zoom groups to engage with music in various ways. And that had a lukewarm um, response. So I haven't really done that. <laughs> And then we asked if they had any other thoughts about the music they'd like to offer. People mentioned how much they really wanted to sing together again, and we haven't really been able to offer that in any meaningful in-person way, but um, you know, as, the, as more people receive the vaccine, that will be more and more possible. 
All right, so now we are going to create a new form and update it with questions that are relevant now and it can give us more information about our congregation and how to shape worship over the next coming months. Now, at the last staff meeting, we all talked about some questions we could ask and we talked about referring back to the old questionnaire that I just showed you for, um, for good questions. And also, the staff wanted to ask, is the congregation able to watch our online services? And if so, are they watching online? And if they are watching online, how frequently? They also wanted to ask when the congregation would plan on returning to in-person worship given safe circumstances. So we'll create a question about that. And then um, they wanted to know what the congregation would like to see included more, both in the in-person service that we uh, currently have and the um, the online service. So that will give the congregation an opportunity to voice the things that they have enjoyed and the things they would like to see improved upon or added. First question I'm going to ask is, are you able to, to view the online service? So it's kind of trying to get at, you know, do you have the necessary devices to watch do you have internet you know do you have speakers what whatever so we want to know are you actually able to get online and watch our uh, our pre-recorded worship services if you are able to view online how often do you watch our online services so for this we'll do multiple choice and say um, hmm every week oops every week or mm, once a month let's see let's say weekly or monthly mm, more than no less than monthly actually that's confusing let's just say less than monthly more than weekly. I may tweak the wording later, <laughs> but just trying to get the gist of these questions down. And then let's also say never, because some people may not watch online at all. When do you plan on returning to in-person worship? To this we're going to use multiple choice and say I am attending currently or when the virus is eradicated or when everyone in attendance has received the vaccine or when I have received the vaccine or and I'm adding this just because I know firsthand that one choir member is thinking along these lines I may explore other church options whatever that means <laughs> now next question let's see what has been your favorite part of um, online worship so far? And then let them answer in their own words there. We'll ask the opposite as well. So how might we improve the online worship experience? an experience <laughs> for you now we also need the same questions pertaining to in-person worship all right so let's say if applicable 
What has been your favorite thing about in-person worship during the pandemic? And how might we improve it for you? I'm saying for you at the end because I really want them to think about their own preferences and realize that it's their own <laughs> and that those preferences may not be shared by the rest of the congregation. You know, you always have those members who come up to you and say, hey, you need to be doing this thing because it's the right thing or the better thing. And um, sometimes you have to rem remind them that uh, that's a good suggestion. Thank you. That is your opinion, though. And we need to ask everyone else how they feel about this as well before we proclaim something the right thing to do. All right, and because I am the music director, I have to ask, what is your favorite hymn? <laughs> um, I feel like that is a way for me to connect with the congregation right now who I can't actually meet with in person, I can't engage with in any way except trying to offer them some music that speaks to their souls. So we're gonna ask, what is your favorite hymn? or um, Christian song, because I do realize that contemporary song and hymn alternatives are a part of our religious culture, and I want to, you know, be open to all of that. So <clears throat> if, you know, if they have a favorite song on K-Love, so be it, let them answer that, and we'll see what we can do with that, you know? All right, so I'm going to take this draft of the congregational questionnaire to staff meeting today and see what everybody thinks. But I feel pretty good about where this is at currently. I don't want the, the questionnaire to be too long because you're already asking a lot of people to, to take um, you know time out of their day to answer this and even to write answers in their own words. That takes some thought and time. So I don't want to make it super, super long. I feel like seven questions is appropriate. Seven to 10 is probably as many as we wanna ask in this one questionnaire. Okay, so those are our questionnaires, our drafts at least. I may come back and edit them before I send, but I'm very interested to see what kind of responses we get back and how those will help us shape worship for the next couple of months. I will create another video when we get our responses back. Of course, all our responses will be anonymous, but I just want to share the um, responses and it might be illuminating for all of us. So thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful and I wish you the best in your music ministries this, this semester. Um, I know it's still difficult, but hang in there. It's going to get better. Go ahead and subscribe to the Church Musicians Assistant if you haven't already, and give this video a like. I appreciate that. Until next time, I wish you all the blessings in the world. Bye for now.